Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing, crafting, home decor, and styling videos here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cute little half apron. This project you will need a half yard of printed fabric, a yard of coordinating fabric, Pellon fusible interfacing, a ruler, cutting tools, sewing needles, thread, straight pins, and a sewing machine. You will need to cut a 15 by 22 inch piece from the printed fabric, 31 by 17 inch piece, two 9.5 by 30 inch pieces, and two 4.5 by 15 inch pieces from the solid, and two 4.5 by 15 inch pieces from the fusible interfacing. If you cut all the solid pieces as shown, you can get them to fit perfectly on one yard of fabric. Place the textured side of the interfacing onto the wrong side of the waistband pieces. Iron with steam to fuse. Fold one side of the pattern piece over one quarter inch in iron. Then another quarter inch in iron. Do this for both short sides and one long side. Repeat for the large solid piece, both short sides and one long side. Sew the hem for the three sides on each piece. Place the pattern piece in the center of the solid lining up the raw edges. Pen together, then sew two lines of basting stitches along the top. Use the largest stitch length on your machine and do not backstitch. Pull the two lower threads to begin to gather the top edge. Together until the top edge measures 14 inches. Sew again to hold the gathers in place. Place one waistband piece on top right sides together with one half inch hanging over on each end. Pen in place. Sew to attach with a half inch seam allowance. All the basting and other seams that were sewn before need to be less than a half inch. Fold the ties in half right sides together and sew along the long edge and one short side. I decided to sew my ends at an angle. Trim and turn right side out. Iron both ties. Pin one tie to each short side of the waistband. Pleat if needed so that a half inch of the waistband is still showing. Sew to attach both with a seam allowance smaller than a half inch. With the last waistband piece, fold back a half inch on one long side and iron. With the ties down toward the center, place the waistband on top right sides together. Pin the three non-folded sides and sew to attach with a half inch seam allowance. Trim the corners and flip right sides out. Iron flat. Then hand sew a whip stitch to close up the opening on the waistband in the back.
and your apron's done. I know it's a lot of steps, but this apron is really adorable when it's finished. This apron is for a size small. If you need a larger size, you would want to add one inch to the body pieces, the waistband, and the ties for each additional size. So one extra inch for medium, two extra inches for large, and then when you do your gathers, you would just need to gather one inch smaller than whatever you cut your waistband to. So I hope that all makes sense. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them the best that I absolutely can because um, I want you all to be able to make an adorable apron too. So I will have some more videos up soon. Um, make sure to subscribe and if you liked this tutorial, make sure to like, pen, and share and I will see you all again soon. Bye.